In this video, we will be talking about magnetic resonance imaging, also known as MRI, based on the questions we have received from you wonderful people out there. It is wonderful to interact with you. Please keep your questions and comments coming. So now let's get started. Hi, my name is Ayun Shahin from Cancer Education and Research Institute, formerly known as Cancer Research Simplified. Before we get started, I would like you to please thumbs up this video and share with your friends and family. We want everyone to learn about the imaging technique, which is called magnetic resonance imaging, or also known as MRI. Magnetic resonance imaging MRI is an imaging technique which is used to obtain anatomical and physiological process images of the body. It provides cross-sectional images of the examined part of the body. MRI device consists of a very large and strong magnet which uses electromagnetic and radio waves. For an MRI, the use of an imaging agent, which means an imaging drug, is not required and there is no risk for allergy and pain. MRI works through the density of protons of the hydrogen atoms in tissues. Hydrogen atoms are found plentiful in living organisms, especially in water molecules and fat. The density and the movement of the hydrogen atoms differ between tissues. The protons of the hydrogen atoms in the body are stimulated with radiofrequency energy. The tissues absorb this energy and emit radiofrequency signals in the magnetic field. These signals are detected by antennas near to the examined part of the body and processed by a computer. Through computer analysis, the images are obtained based on the signals. The patient is laid on the device's table. The table is positioned with the tunnel into the MRI magnet. The patient should take off all the accessories such as ring, earring, necklace and belt, all which contain metal. The scanning process can last 10 to 20 minutes or more depending on the situation and the tissue that is being imaged. During the scanning, the person should be immobile. Since the MRI device is creating a repetitive noise, MRI could be noisy and uncomfortable for the people who have claustrophobia, also because of the device's surrounding shape. MRI does not involve ionizing radiation which makes MRI safer than computer tomography or CT and there's no proved evidence about the biological harm of an MRI scanning over a living organism. MRI can be used safely during pregnancy but is not recommended in the first trimester. However, MRI is not recommended for persons who have metal prosthesis, cochlear implants, cardiac pacemakers, aneurysm clips in the brain, and have or had foreign metal fragments in their eyes as the metal can interact with the magnet of the MRI. MRI can image all parts of the body, even the internal parts of the bones. However, MRI is commonly used in the imaging of soft tissues, which could be damaged, for example, in sports injuries. MRI is also commonly used in imaging of the musculoskeletal system and in central nervous system diseases, particularly in neurological cancers because of its high resolution. MRI is also used in the imaging of prostate and rectal cancers. Additionally, it is useful in the early detection of cancer for determining the stage of the disease. MRI involves minimal preparation before the scan and allows an immediate return to daily activity. So I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. And once you have subscribed down here in the subscription button, you will see a little bell that will appear. When you click that bell, you will receive notification once we publish a new video. And if you have any questions or comments, keep writing down below in the comment box. We would love to interact with you. And if you have much more specific questions based on your specific situation, then please visit our website and go to our patient platform page, which is cancer at institute.org slash patient dash platform. And we will be happy to look into that for you. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.